Westfield Topanga is a shopping mall in Canoga Park, California that opened in 1964. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for my latest mall video, defunct store, occasional throwback Thursday or soda history. Leave a suggestion about a future video or memories of this mall. Thanks. The site was once part of the Harry Warner Ranch. Harry Warner, one of the brothers in Warner Brothers, purchased over 1,200 acres of land in Woodland Hills in the late 1920s from the McCoy family. Their area was located 25 miles northwest of downtown LA. A portion of the ranch was utilized for raising thoroughbred racehorses. Other sections were set aside for filming purposes, including the erection of a standing sets. Over time, these sets included a western town, a Mexican village, a ranch set, a western fort, and many other sets. The area was eventually closed and sold off to SoCal Edison, who divided it into subdivisions. Master architect Victor Gruen was involved in the design of the first major enclosed shopping center in Southern California. The complex was built on a 58-acre tract in Los Angeles' San Fernando Valley. Originally promoted as the West Valley Center, the official name of the shopping hub had been changed to Topanga Plaza by the time ground was broken in February of 1963. The mall would envelop approximately 950,000 leasable square feet on two levels and house 83 retailers. The first operational tenants was a three-level, 240,000 square foot Los Angeles-based May Company, California, and a two-level, 161,000 square foot Montgomery Ward. These stores held grand openings on February 10, 1964. A food fair supermarket welcomed its first patrons in April of 1964. This was followed by the official dedication of a third anchor, a three-level, 160,000-square-foot Los Angeles-based The Broadway, which opened its doors on August 24, 1964. Charter Topanga tenants included Mullen and Bluett, Silverwood's Men's and Boys, Hudson Jewelers, Sutton Brothers Home Decorating, and a one-level, 18,000 square foot Joseph Magnin. Grand openings at Topanga tended to be a star studded affair, attended by Hollywood personalities such as Zsa Zsa Gabor, Lauren Green, Buster Keaton, and Steve Allen. The Topanga Plaza Ice Arena, later called the Ice Capade Chalet, opened in March of 1965 and was located on the mall's lower level at the southeast corner of the structure surrounded by the original food court. It would later close in the late 1970s. A rain fountain called the Wonderfall feature consisted of a several circular arrays of vertical monofilament lines stretching from the ceiling to the raised landscape area on the floor. The effect of the rain was created by droplets of recirculated glycerin slowly descending along the wetted lines and was in the adjacent south court. The north court included bird aviaries, planters, and a gazebo. The terrace restaurant overlooked the area from atop the May Company store. 
A cinematic venue, the RKO Stanley Warner Topanga Theater, was built across the boulevard from the Broadway on the southeast corner of Topanga Canyon and Victory Boulevards. The cinema opened on October 26, 1965. In 1966, the Topanga Plaza was used in location shooting for Columbia Pictures' Divorce American Style. In the film, Debbie Reynolds and Emmeline Henry stroll through the North Court, ascend an escalator to the second level, traipse through Florsheim shoes, and then head into Joseph Magnin. The Joseph Magnin store closed in 1980. An Orbach's boutique store was installed at Topanga Plaza. It assumed the vacant Joseph Magnin space on the mall's upper level, as well as the lower level area previously leased by, by Thrifty Drug and Original Cookie Company. The Topanga Orbach, which encompassed 36,800 square feet, was dedicated on August 21, 1980. The first mall expansion got underway in January of 1984 as part of the $16 million renovation, columns and archways were installed along the shopping concourse. Surfaces were painted with a neutral palette using subtle accent colors and the 15 Bay Plaza Cafe food court was built in existing space. Its area had been utilized for five inline stores after the ice arena was removed in the early 1980s. On April 6, 1984, a two-level, 154,000-square-foot Nordstrom opened as the fourth anchor. Stores opening at the part of the mid-1980s refurbishment included Edgewood Cutlery, Music Box and Clock Shop, From the Heart, and DJ's Fashion Center for Men. The Montgomery Ward store was also downsized at this time. Upper and lower level shops were built in the area bordering the center court. When the construction dust settled in the fall of 1984, Montgomery Ward encompassed approximately 143,000 square feet. In December of 1986, Orbox closed. Topanga Plaza now covered approximately 1.1 million leasable square feet and contained 106 stores and services under its roof. Further renovation work was done between January and November of 1992. This $45 million project, including a seismic retrofit of steel and concrete framework. In 1992, the original developer, May Centers Inc., was renamed Centermark Properties and was sold by the parent company, May Department Stores, in 1993 to a consortium led by Westfield Holdings Limited. On January 31, 1993, the Topanga Plaza May Company closed. It would reopen and it's a rebranded Robinson's May. A massive earthquake hit the San Fernando Valley on the morning of January 17, 1994. The inline store section of Topanga Plaza had been seismically reinforced just two years earlier and incurred only modest damage. The mall reopened on January 28, 1994. The four anchor stores had been severely shaken. Nordstrom resumed business in February, followed by the Broadway in May and Montgomery Ward in September. Robinson's May remained closed until November of 1994. In 1996, the Broadway closed. As a result, Sears relocated from its nearby Fallbrook Center Mall and opened on November 2nd. In November of 1998, the shopping hub was bequeathed with a new name, the Westfield Shopping Town Topanga. In November of 1999, Westfield established 100% ownership of the mall. In 2001, Montgomery Ward closed as a result of the chain ending operations. 
In 2002, the mall was featured in the movie One Hour Photo, starring Robin Williams. A fourth mall renovation on the drawing board since 1997 got underway in February of 2005. The vacant wards was torn down. A multi-level addition encompassing 753,000 leasable square feet was built. In all, over 100 stores and restaurants were added. These included a three-level, 200,000-square-foot Nordstrom, which had relocated on the Sears side of the mall, and a two-level, 100,000-square-foot Target, which opened on October 6, 2006. Three parking garages were also constructed. In 2006, Robinson's May closed. It would reopen as Macy's. A new Westfield Topanga was dedicated on October 6, 2006. The mall now housed 270 tenant spaces. However, the $500 million renovation was far from being finished. In 2008, a two-level 120,000 square foot Neiman Marcus opened as its fifth anchor, which opened in the original Nordstrom store on September 5th, 2008. Westfield Topanga now encompassed approximately 1.6 million leasable square feet. In late 2007, Westfield announced plans to connect Westfield Topanga and Westfield Promenade with a $750 million village at Westfield Topanga. This urban village would be built on 30 acres section lying between the two malls. The NBC comedy Parks and Recreation included scenes at the Westfield Topanga during an episode of the fourth season entitled Pawnee Rangers. The mall would be featured in the 2014 movie Captain America the Winter Soldier. The scene used in the film was shot in the Apple Store. A one-level, 154,000-square-foot Costco became the first operational tenant on September 11, 2015 at the Village at Westfield Topanga. On May 3, 2015, Sears closed. In September of 2015, Westfield opened a major expansion of Westfield Topanga called the Village at Westfield Topanga. The open-air shopping destination was located along Topanga Canyon Boulevard and sits between the Westfield Topanga and the largely inactive Promenade Mall. The old Sears building was demolished in July of 2020 and replaced by a vibrant entertainment district. This new mall wing included a 24-bay Topanga Social Food Hall, an AMC Dining Inn Topanga 12 Megaplex, Pinstripes Bowling and Entertainment Center, and a luxury fashion wing. The village was purchased in January of 2023 for $325 million by Ram's owner, Stan Kroenke, bringing his total ownership in Warner Center to 100 acres. The village will continue to operate as an open-air lifestyle and retail destination, with the Promenade Mall and former Anthem Office Building being redeveloped into the Rams Headquarters and Practice Facility. As the new food and wing was being built, the existing mall was given a facelift. This included the installation of new flooring. The $250 million renovation and expansion was completed in late 2023. Today, the Westfield Topanga now encompasses over 1.5 million square feet of gross leasable area and features Nordstrom, Macy's, Neiman Marcus, and Target, and has over 360 stores and services. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot, shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer is... 7. Give yourself a hand.
you were paying attention. Thanks for watching. So what do you remember about this mall? Leave a comment or some more details that I may have missed or maybe even a suggestion for a future mall video you would like to see. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions. Thanks for watching.